All right. Uh, seeing none, uh, let's move on to uh, communication plan update. Okay. Uh, th this was asked to be put on the agenda a few weeks back. I wanted to update the board on a few things um, as we wrap up the school year in regards to communication. That was one of the goals that we talked about in my first year, at the end of my first year, to work on this year. Um, we have done a total of uh, three customer satisfaction surveys. It's something we started doing. Uh, we did three this year. Um, on the course selection process, the residency process, parent-teacher conferences. There will be a fourth one going out that every single family will have to take at registration, just asking about um, what type of technology that ha they have at home, uh, what type of access they have to the Internet, um, do they have smartphones, do their children have access to home computers, some stuff like that to give us a knowledge base on our overall population. And the reason we're doing that at residency is so when every person so those families that maybe don't have access to Skyward or don't check Skyward and do these surveys um, will be able to get access on their information and the assistant principal's office will be uh, implementing that. So we have been doing some uh, surveys to uh, survey our stakeholders both on satisfaction of events we've run that um, they, where they were main participants at also they build some base for us as we make decisions going forward. Uh, the second thing and I might ask that Mike highlighted on the um, or Marianne highlighted on the internet from our web page uh, is the customer satisfaction. Um, we've created a board contact point on the web page um, so that, that that was one of the questions the board had talked about if people wanted to be able to contact the board or uh, send in something to the board. Um, so that was added to the school district's web page. Um, Mike's pulling that up right now. I thought that would be up. Yes, that's the form. Looks similar to a lot of places where you. All right, you can't see it because the cameraman's head's in the way, but uh, <laughs> there's a, a point right on the website where if you, uh, the public, right underneath the now the new policy manual that's online and searchable if they click on the last link it says contact the Board of Education and it's a place that people can sit, submit feedback directly back to the board. I receive those feedback forms and we'll include them in the weekly updates to the board and then if there's a need to generate a response from the board president we can do that. Um, also Mike if you can highlight on the uh, school district webpage we made we put we had a couple things posted and uh, just to help with navigation under the uh, district tab where it says uh, right underneath superintendent we have facts and goals so then we listed our district goals right there so people can click on the district goals see our three-year history and then what we're tracking for district goals our school profile and our school report card uh, so that is all available now uh, on one tab on the school district website um, one other thing is uh, we also have used the board president and myself um, went back to the agenda one more time and did realign the agenda. Um, if you look at the agenda, that the hard copy that Marianne has in front of you, you notice we added a, uh, Roman numeral number six is after visitor statements, and that gives the board members. We moved the, the, the opportunity for board members to add discussion items. We moved that to after visitor statements, so in the event that if we get some visitor statements that the board want to comment on, or discuss at the end of the meeting we could add that right to the agenda after that so it gives us a window of opportunity if we if we get uh, information brought to us in public from the citizens comments later at the end of the meeting before we go into closed session we can discuss it on TV um, and, and that was I heard that from the board that sometimes people will ask items or not necessarily bring accurate information and we should have an opportunity to respond or at least discuss that would give us that opportunity now um, and when the final thing is just as an update to the board we have used uh, I have been using on special occasions a third-party service and helping generate press releases and um, communication updates uh, for the public like when we were in New York US News Week or when we had the uh, new sign from the Booster Club and from the class of 2012 um, we also put a little extra money in the budget uh, as I'm looking to try to do maybe um, at least a semester depending on how things are going if it's going well we could do a quarterly but I'd like to do at least maybe a semester postcard out to the community 
just acknowledging some highlights from each semester. Uh, we looked into the Nexel service that uh, Riverside Police Department uses and North Riverside Recreation Department uses. Um, it was about a $6,000 expenditure for that service. And it doesn't, uh, the, the question was to the, from the board was, how can we get things out to people in the community that aren't um, families, if, they, if their kids have already graduated but they want to stay on top of RB News? Um, so that's a way to send out updates, but it's very similar to going onto the web page login. People would still have to go to Nexel and sign up for our, our updates and our postings, and that was about a $6,000 expenditure. Um, so I haven't totally dismissed that option, uh, but I w I'm, I'm looking at a couple different things uh, to try to also get just a general informational flyer out to the community at least twice a year. Um, I'm not sure if it's better to do it digital, digital or uh, hard copy yet, so I'm still looking at that. Any questions for Kevin on the communication thing? Can we look to, I don't know if it's appropriate, maybe it could be looked into uh, a Twitter site or a, uh, I mean, do Facebook we Facebook? Page? Yeah. I've thought about that. I'm kind of anti-Facebook, but I, there are uh, the superintendents, I'm not anti-Facebook that it's bad. I just see all that from the discipline side of how we deal with so many problems with kids and putting wrong stuff right, on Facebook right. and those kind of things. So that's the principal side of me. But um, the Superintendents Association, a lot of big school districts have gone to Twitter and Facebook pages. So that might be something we can do. I'm looking at that as well. Okay. Is there a way to add email addresses to the Skyward for non- They have to be manually entered. So if we had people who wanted to be on the, the blast that we send out to all our families, that would be one way? Yeah, it would be, we would probably have to hire some, some part-time personnel just to come in and um, enter all that or figure out a way to where how we would um, petition people to send us their email addresses to get dumped into the system. We checked on that as well, didn't we, Mike? I believe you helped me check on that. Maybe we can use that for if we send out the postcard if people want to get on uh, their email on our email address, they can contact us or something. We look at that. They could fill out that form we just saw. Yep. Put their email address and has to be. Yeah, that's a possibility. List. All right. Any other questions for Kevin on communication plan? 